Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Take your seat. What's your name? Uh, sir, Shivangi. Okay, great. Have you completed your records? Yes, sir. Perfect. What is the theory marks? Sir, not good. Not good. How much was it? Do you even remember? Yes. Okay, great. Nice. Perfect. Completed di diagrams? Yes, sir. Nice. So, who drew it for you? You drew the diagrams or someone else drew it for you? No, sir. I didn't do it. You drew the diagrams. Great. Fine. So, I have your exam paper here. So, let's take Viva. Choose the specimen you want. Okay, great. I have your papers with me. First, let's go to the Viva. Choose which specimen do you want? Sir, this one. This one. That looks pretty easy. Let's take this specimen. So, describe the specimen. What's your diagnosis? Sir, uh... This is the renal cell carcinoma. See, you should not look at the numbers here. I know that you know the numbers. So, tell me and explain why it is, first of all, why it is a kidney. Uh, so, this is the uh, renal capsule. Okay. And uh, sir, uh, uh, this area is blackish, grey and uh, whitish. Why it is a kidney? Renal capsule is fine. Capsule is, you can't say capsule in gross, no? So, why do you say it's a kidney? Any other landmark to say it's a kidney? Okay, fine. Let's go to the pathogenesis. Why? What, uh, you are describing something. Can you describe again? So, this is the most common in India. Uh, Which? Renal cell carcinoma. Okay. What's the type of renal cell carcinoma? So, uh, uh, clear cell carcinoma. Why you are calling it clear cell? Is there anything clear here? No, sir. Okay, let's give marks for the first one. Fine, let's take the one which you chose. What is it? Uh, sir, this is uh, Millery TV. Millery TV. Millery TV in which organ, madam? Uh, sir, this is lung. Lung, it's just a finger, it's just 4-5 centimeters. Do you have a 4-5 centimeter lung? It's a part of the lung. Okay, how do you say it's part of lung? Why can't it be a spleen or why can't it be a liver? You can do better, Shivangi. Your theory marks say that you're doing better, but in practicals, you're not performing better. What are the landmarks uh, which you can appreciate in a lung? Uh, sir, uh, uh, Is it an entire lung or a half of a lung? Okay, let's find. So, it's a case of miliary tuberculosis, right? Why it is called as miliary tuberculosis? Sir, uh, Multiple uh, nodules are present okay. at the surface. Is it a primary tuberculosis or a secondary tuberculosis? Primary ka matlab kya hai? Okay, shall we go to the next specimen? Fine. Describe the specimen. Tell me what do you think? What's the diagnosis? This is the uh, testis, tubercular uh, seminoma. Tubercular How do you know it's a testis? Sir, so, uh, so this is. Okay, what are the normal structures? What is the structure? What is the structure there on the top of this testis? Okay, fine. So let's uh, talk about some microscopic features, fine. So you described that seminoma, that's tuberculosis and renal cell carcinoma, right? So what's a microscopic finding you see in a patient with tuberculosis? So Shivangi, you said uh, it's a case of TB, it's a case of renal cell carcinoma and seminoma. Can we talk about something microscopically? Yes, sir. Fine, great. So can we start with an easy one? What, do you, what will you see in 
माइक्रोस्कोपी ऑफ अ पेशेंट विद ट्यूबरक्लोसिस सर ना मोस्टली बेसिलाई प्रेजेंट एंड ट्यूबरक्लोसिस इज पॉजिटिव ओके डू इज देयर एनी नेम स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच इज लाइक हैज लॉट्स ऑफ सेल्स टुगेदर इज देयर एनी नेम स्ट्रक्चर फॉर ट्यूबरक्लोसिस यस सर व्हाट इज दैट ओके व्हाट टाइप ऑफ नेक्रोसिस विल यू सी हियर ओके शिवांगी सो यू सेड दैट इट्स अ क्लियर सेल रेनल सेल कार्सिनोमा राइट so can you tell any etiology of a clear cell renal cell carcinoma uh, sir uh, any cause which can cause this cancer sir smoking most common great anything else i'm sorry any gene any syndrome okay shivangi fine so uh, your presentation of the record is good your theory has been decent Yeah, I think you're a bit stressed. Don't worry, nothing is going to happen. Just answer whatever comes to your mind. If it's right, it's right. It's wrong, it's wrong. That's all, right? So you have drawn a few beautiful peripheral smear pictures here. Can we ask some questions regarding hematology? Let's say there's a patient with hypersegmented neutrophils in microscope. Right? What will be the diagnosis? Ah, uh, sir, hypersegmented uh, megaloblastic anemia. Great, perfect. So let's. You have drawn here a case which says lymphocytosis. If this patient, along with his lymphocytosis, has a cell called a smut cell, where do you see them? So, what is the main difference between an acute myeloid leukemia's blast and an acute lymphoid leukemia blast in microscopy? Okay, good. So, good. Uh, that's your log book and uh, how many marks do you think i should give you sorry sir so okay fine well done shivangi so see you in the next viva read well practice well for viva just talk uh, describe these terms with the friends so that it becomes much more comfortable fine all the very best thank you Hey guys, so that was a demo Viva with Dr. Shivangi. She is an A plus student. We just started like what will happen when a student is tensed and not able to perform or answer in a Viva. Amazing theory marks, amazing presentation, but still not able to answer. The simple reason is the stress factor which comes inside. That is one of the most important thing which pulls a student's performance down. Be it a Viva, be it an E P G exam, be it an I N C T exam. So how to handle stress? I seen you told me this, and it has been wonderfully helpful for me throughout my career. Yeah, you must have definitely had a boyfriend or a girlfriend, right? The first time you meet and talk to a girl, you'll have palpitation, right? Tenth time, the girl will have palpitation. That's all. Practice makes every person perfect in anything what they do. If you're scared answering a viva question to your examiner, to your professor, stick the professor's picture in your hostel mirror. Talk to them daily. Make sure that you feel the comfort of talking to a friend. Granny Loma, you talk to a friend, you explain to a friend, right? All these bad jokes and bad mnemonics comes like this. What happens in the hot seat? It's really a hot seat, right? Not just for Big B. Everywhere you sit in a viva, it's a hot seat and it's difficult to answer. Just practice. Make sure that you're talking to a colleague because you do very well in a viva. That's what is going to translate in future when you sit across a patient and talk history. The comfort and rapport you build in a viva is not for the marks. is for the doctor in you see you soon in the next video till then bye bye from dr anjan bye bye